This segment is sponsored by the West Michigan Home and Garden Show, which runs this Thursday through Sunday at DeVos Place. And the show will be filled with tons of fun events for friends and families, including exciting seminars with the Canning Diva. And joining us today is the Canning Diva herself, Diane Devereaux. Welcome. Hi, thank you. Yeah, this is an amazing spread, but I, I have to know. Why do they call you the Canning Diva? Because, <laughs> I mean, that's just such a cute name. <laughs> thank you. I actually have to give credit to my cousin Amy. Um, she has always seen me as the diva in the family and uh, <laughs> as a positive thing, not a negative, yes, yes. but taking canning and making something fun with it and, and how do I get attention? How do I get people yeah. to, to join in on this craft that they haven't maybe done ever or they put it aside? I had to think of something fun that would capture their attention, of so course. hence the canning diva. Yes, <laughs> and so how long have you been canning, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, since I was 13 wow. is when I learned how to do so. So you're truly then, an expert. Well, yes, I, yes. I, I, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Not even self-proclaimed. I'm yes. very fortunate to have uh, some credentials behind my behind of my back. Of course. Too, so. And so you will be at the Home and Garden Show this weekend, mm -hmm. and you're going to have some seminars. But you're kind of going to be showing folks, you know, beginner and more advanced, you know, just a, a wide variety of canning. Can yes. you kind of touch base on that? Yes, absolutely. So those of you that are interested in learning how to water bathe, how to pressure mm -hmm. can, I'm going to dive into... Uh, both areas because there's some science and math behind it and I want individuals to feel comfortable um, knowing why they're able to do what they do in their kitchen and mm -hmm. without that knowledge we're just now what reliant on, on, on what some 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 blogs or, exactly. or maybe a book out Pinterest. there that yeah Pinterest <laughs> and so if I can give them the information mm -hmm. to make sound decisions how to know what recipes to gravitate to because there's a lot out there yes so I really want to also get rid of some fear and misnomers mm -hmm. that is very important to me because there's a lot of individuals that get real real down and dirty yes. on the internet canning groups even uh -huh. on Facebook have been kind of ugly and so I want to take and, and settle their nerves mm -hmm. give them some tried and true recipes some things to look forward to yeah. and then I broke it into three segments so I have three seminars I should say okay um, we're gonna focus on high and low acid foods mm -hmm. and then we're gonna have a whole seminar devoted to just pressure canning. Okay. This is what I get a lot of, of curiosity about. Okay, they're scared. They've never done it before. They know they want to do it, mm -hmm. but um, I want to really dive into that. So I think it's Sunday at 2 p.m. Okay. We focus solely on pressure canning so that you can put chicken soup in a jar. You can do chicken pot pie filling. You name yeah, it. Yeah, I see you have such a variety here, and, and I think it's pretty cool. I didn't even, so I saw the chickpeas, but I was like, oh, I'm going to make hummus out of that. I'm like, uh -huh. I would have never uh -huh. thought of that. Yes. So I can chickpeas and make hummus out of them yes. and then you have your soups so is there some examples of the high and low yes good okay. good call thank yeah. you so high and low acid foods when you water bathe high acid foods mm -hmm. it's easy and this is typically what people do so they'll make their jellies their jams this is uh, brandied blueberries pickles um, salsas, Yum. things that that's easier for individuals. So we'll start there and we'll have some, some talk about various recipes. Mm -hmm. But then as you start gravitating more into pressure canning, now you're talking soups, stews, broths, a it's lot great. of individuals, yeah, they want to start creating this for themselves and putting it in a jar. Mm -hmm. Now you dive into pressure canning and yeah, you're right, chickpeas. I, I love, would never thought yeah, of that. I, you know, I want to have it available. Yes, and if folks come out to your seminars, they also have an opportunity to win your latest cookbook, which is not even out yet. Yes, it'll be out April 23rd. It is the Beginner's Guide to Canning. Yeah. And if you attend my seminar, you get to put your hat in the ring. Mm -hmm. um, and what's nice is I have three seminars, so that gives you Perfect. three opportunities. There you go. To win Win. yeah wonderful thank you so much the canning diva and again the west michigan home and garden show runs this mm -hmm. thursday through sunday at devos place and the canning diva seminars will be on saturday and sunday for more information on tickets and showtimes you can visit our website 13onyourside.com thank you so much mm -hmm. yeah thank you.